Welcome back to Pat and Ken at the Holidays 2010. I'm Ken Candela, the movie wag. And I'm Patrick McDowell, the Uber critic from HollywoodChicago.com. Ken? In this second segment, yes. we're going to take a look at movies that deal with the Hollywood holiday animals. The Christmas animals. The Christmas animals. If you will. So, animal stories. Yes, animal stories, <laughs> little Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're going to uh, talk about, uh, first, uh, Prancer. Prancer's a holiday classic that's, you know, kind of built in reputation over the years, Ken. So basically, this is the story of a little girl who has just lost her mother. Uh, we don't know why, but she's being raised by a single parent, her father, played by the great Sam Elliott. And um, she has, uh, you know, she's going through some issues, so it's her father. And... Um, we see them. Uh, we see them dealing with those issues. She has a brother, and uh, at the same time, Christmas is coming, and she finds a reindeer in the forest that she believes has been injured. <laughs> Filmed in Laporte, Indiana, which, which is right, right off the bat, right. you want to say the the authenticity of this film, yes, is the the first thing that struck me mm -hmm. in terms of the when it's snowing. I think it was really snowing, mm -hmm. which lent itself to the film and, and made it even more believable. Well, having grown up in that area, Ken, I, but I knew of the rural rural elements around Michigan City and Laporte. And, you know, the same woods, the same feel of the woods. It was really something. It was really nostalgic for me. It was, uh, I, I think, the, the intimacy of it, the mm -hmm. relationship between the father and daughter, yes. which is, is strained to a point where things get very tense between the two. Yes. The father is obviously still grieving over the loss of his wife. Right, and doesn't know what to do with the daughter. Exactly. He's, I mean, he's a rural, rural farmer. Yeah, that, I mean, you, you get this, the, this scenario that, you know, he took care of the farm and the mother took care of the raising he's, of the kids. Exactly. And the, the so he's thrusted into yeah. a situation that he's really not prepared for. He Don't say thrust. thrust. <laughs> That's the very thing I'm talking about. The very thing I'm worried about. I gotta go off to Benton Harbor tonight and who knows what you're gonna get up to gonna tell me why you were late are you listening to me no you're not no I mean I'm not gonna tell you why I was late for school fine have it your way did you notice that Bon Jovi was at the church <laughs> by the way <laughs> there was a guy who looked exactly like Bon Jovi singing at the mass <laughs> You can see the low budgetness in it sometimes. Well, uh, let, let's get back to a bit of casting. Okay. Let's not let's not forget the actor who played the town's veterinarian, the great actor Abe Vigoda. I really don't think this is necessary. He's probably used to being around people. What am I, an elf? Hold his head down and keep that on after I leave you here. They bite. <laughs> when they sat down to cast this film, who said, you know? The, the country veterinarian's got to be Abe Vigoda. The, the, the realist, realism of it with the snow and the reindeer and not using special effects yes, to have yes. like weird expressions from the reindeer, <laughs> his eyes bulging out when he's nervous. I mean, you really had a... Or well, really maybe breaking in the song. <laughs> well, my Christmas bell on this one, I'm going to give it a solid three. You know what? I'm going to go do one better. Oh. And I'm going to give Prancer... Four bells. Wow! A perfect score. A perfect score for a perfect holiday treat. And don't forget Bon Jovi. In our Christmas animal tribute, Ken is uh, the dog who... 
The dog who what, Pat? The dog, the dog named Christmas, Ken? Absolutely. The dog named Christmas. It's not the dog who saved Christmas. <laughs> no, he didn't save Christmas. Okay. Well, he did save Christmas. He did save it. Enough. All right, he saved it. So basically, Ken, this is one of those Hallmark Hall of Fame Absolutely. specials. Yes, Absolutely. yes, from last year, in fact. Okay. And uh, it stars the, uh, who I uh, really like, the great Bruce Greenwood, Absolutely. the uh, patriarch of this farm. Another, you know, another, farm, another farmer. Another farmer. Let's put it this way. If you're going to have an animal <laughs> Christmas movie, yes. generally a good chance it's going to take place yes. on a farm. You have to have some animal husbandry experience. Exactly. Yes. Uh, Greenwood runs this farm with his wife and his young son who still lives with them. He has uh, a daughter and two other sons. Mm -hmm. Uh, and son, they, son, of spe move son, son of special needs. Special needs, yeah, right. He's, a, he's, right. A 20, he's, he's, he's basically a 20 year old young man at this right. point. Right, and you know, I mean, he's, he's mentally challenged and you understand that, but it's not like grievous or anything. Exactly. He, he's more of an innocent than anything else. Right. Dad, the shelter wants us to have a dog for the holidays. It's just for a few days so that the dogs aren't alone in their kennels for Christmas. You know, it's just, it's not that simple. They figure that when folks get the dog home, they're going to bond with it, and somebody is going to beg to keep it. That would be you, and then somebody else is going to give in. Well, the story, as the story progresses, you get flashbacks to when the father was in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and uh, the father had a dog. In Vietnam. Absolutely. He found this dog during certain uh, military maneuvers. They found this dog. Yes. And the dog became virtually a mascot to the platoon. Right. And I've got to go from an up-tempo story to a dog dying. Um, I want somebody to make a concerted effort <laughs> to get this right. Go ahead. The, uh, so that's his reluctance. That's right. the father's reluctance. But the family doesn't know that. Right? I think right. the wife knows it, but the son mm -hmm. obviously is is not really prepared to, to take on that kind of emotional right. baggage. So basically he makes a deal with the son. He can have the dog, but he has to return it. On December 26th. And the dog is a golden, a golden retriever. A golden retriever. Okay. Called Christmas. Christmas. Yes. So, what was your feelings about this uh, film? I, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I may surprise everybody. All right. I, I literally cried throughout this entire film. It's a weeper. It is an, a, it's an absolute weeper. Uh, but it was good that I watched it privately because I was sitting there. <laughs> it is a tear -tier. Can your Christmas bells? Uh, this is definitely a four star. Oh wow! The, the the two animal stories just really tugged at my heartstrings. Very good, little Kenny. I'm gonna give it a three bell, three bells for a dog named Christmas. Christmas.